What's up guys and welcome back to the Chaotic Battles channel. Today we are playing the new ACW mod 1.0 with the hardcore mod attached to it, the hardcore beta. Uh, Coldfront and Olympia Gaming convinced me to, uh, to go ahead and download it. Uh, it's pretty different, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's like Christmas morning when it comes to the unit difference between 2.6 and uh, this 1.0 one. But uh, yeah, uh, today we're playing uh, Second Manassas B uh, deployment. Uh, I'm playing as the first score, and Olympia Gaming is playing as the Confederacy. He is the left wing Army of Tennessee. Uh, I took. We, uh, we're playing by the tournament rules, so that's uh, no more than 12 barrels, which would be two six gun artillery or four or three uh, four gun artillery, or maybe a mix and mash with a couple twos in there. No more than two cavalry, no more than three sharpshooters. So I took two cavalry, and then everything else I put into infantry. So pretty much uh, the only good path I have is through the woods. Anything in the open fields can get tagged by artillery. I took uh, John Reynolds, bless his heart, he's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fast forward. What's up guys, and we're back. So I fast forward a little bit. I've moved the Iron Brigade as well as uh, all my support infantry up through. I'm now moving my cavalry towards his artillery. They're still hidden. The only thing you can see is his general, my or my general, but uh, he can't see my cavalry. They're still hidden. And I'm sending about just about 800, 800 men his way, like 787. Yeah, 787. But yeah, I'm still hidden here. I'm not running yet. Just got a bunch of sharpshooters right here walking up. There's gonna be skirmishers throughout too. He's got skirmishers over here as well. So these sharpshooters, they have like 300 range and massive accuracy. They're pretty damn good. But my cavalry is pretty good accuracy too. This first core cavalry is really strong. Now I didn't know how uh, how much of a drain uh, running is in this, and how important stamina was when I played this. So it's pretty fucking important. But luckily, this is a pretty big mismatch, so it doesn't even matter that my guys are tired. With that unit taken care of now. I can move up toward this cavalry. I mean, not the cavalry, the artillery. It looks like he's gonna try to stop us with canister, but I think we're too far up. And I really think he thought that he could move these sharpshooters in time. Because he's got infantry right about here. But he's got, he has to walk them. So I've got all my cavalry moving toward him now. It's a pretty epic looking char cab charge, actually. I only took out one guy with a volley. There's some canister. See, with the exhaustion, it's gonna be hard, but I still get it. So I'm trying to send my other cavalry around, but he has infantry back here. It's not worth it. 
There it is right there. At least some of it. And it's gonna be all good infantry. It's not gonna be trash infantry. So now I'm gonna move my cavalry back. They've done their job. Uh, I got the artillery taken out. Pretty pleased with the way it's opened. And I still have my general somehow because I seem to lose him every game early on, but somehow I still have my general. Thank God. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next point of action. Alright guys, and we're back. So we've got skirmishers here. And uh, we've got the 14th Brooklyn. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next point. Alright guys, we're back real quick. We chased, we're chasing him a little bit more here. He recovered, and now we're fighting again. I'm throwing my cab and the 14th Brooklyn on him. Because I really don't want to let him escape. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the next point. Alright guys, we're back and we've got a little cavalry confrontation over here. So I moved one of my cavalry units all the way around through the woods, ran into his. I outnumber him, so I decided to attack. Oh, there's Colonel Gamble from Gettysburg. I think it's Colonel Gamble. Uh, it's Gamble from Gettysburg, anyway. little chase scene here and then just when you think you're okay there's an ambush Alright guys, we're going to fast forward to the next point of action. What's up guys, and we're back. So, it's been a little while, but he tried to flank around on the left, because I hold most of the ground here. 
and uh, we're playing by tournament rules, so all you gotta do is have the area that controls the most points, which I would have through my line. So now I'm moving up my infantry, and then I've still got my capper over here. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the advance, though. Alright guys, and here we go. A lot of butternut there. Dropped a couple there. Did I drop anything there? They're getting the fire RV. And then my cavalry should be moving up. He's gonna bring his own cavalry out here. These units are gone now. I'm almost short at this side. Just gotta cut the rest of these guys off. There's my cavalry. Old Gamble. Actually, it's Gamble's whole freaking brigade. That's what it is. That other cavalry over there probably come out. Maybe take a little volley off the side here for the 80th New York. Now I'm gonna form up my 16th main to intercept that.
scav out over here, trying to see what I can get over here. The answer is jack shit. An ambush at best. He's getting closer over there. Even with my bucktails in this rabbit. I didn't see him yet. I only just turned around now. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the next point of contact. What's up guys, and we're back and he just got my general. He killed John Reynolds with an artillery strike. So we've got about four and a half minutes left. All the battle's about to take place. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Alrighty guys, then we're back and here we go. As soon as I started moving the Iron Brigade out, he immediately began moving his, his units out. Throw my cabin. Ha ha ha! 
Alrighty guys, thanks you for watching.